By-elections across the country this weekend will test both the opposition leader and prime minister. Results in at least a couple of seats are expected to be tight and senior political figures admit trying to pick the outcome is just guesswork. Political editor Andrew Proben. Even in an age of perpetual campaigning... What will you do when you're Prime Minister? Do you mind if I sit on the bed? It's been a frenetic couple of months. Speed dating in four states for five seats. It was way back in autumn when the Super Saturday date was set. For the optimal date of July 28. Now in the numbing depths of winter... I feel like I've had an anaesthetic or something. <laughs> we're five days from the finish line. And with the Liberal Party ducking contests in the two WA seats, Perth and Fremantle, most political effort has been in three seats. In South Australia, public polling has consistently shown independent Rebecca Sharkey ahead in Mayo, streets ahead of Liberal candidate Georgina Downer on a two-party basis. It seems not even Liberal royalty has been able to combat opponents' depiction of their candidate as an out-of-towner Downer. It'll be tough. Um, the last thing Georgina is is complacent. One. In Queensland, polls suggest the LNP's Trevor Ruthenberg has maintained a slight but thinning advantage over ousted Labor MP Susan Lamb in the seat of Longman. And in Braddon, it's exceptionally close, reflected in a topsy-turvy ride in the public polls. Given how dubious seat polling has been over the years, you really need a very clear result in polling one way or the other to show any confidence. The last time a government won a by-election from the opposition was a hundred years ago. And it's not a beauty contest, it's a contest of ideas. But Braddon and Longman are contests poised to be decided by those who aren't attracted to either side's ideas. How old are you? I'm 30. Preferences from the One Nation vote in Longman and those voting for the miners in Braddon will be key. No one in the Liberal or Labor camps knows who's going to win in Queensland or Tasmania at the weekend. It's that close. But Bill Shorten will be sweating the most. His friends and enemies agree that while his leadership could likely bear the loss of one seat, two would be troublesome. Not that the man who might gain the most is making trouble. I was raised with an old-fashioned principle, which is do the job that you've been given to the best of your capacity. Be a team player. But every team needs its best captain. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.